think I'm not a Ginkgo at all. It's good that you see that now. And there aren't any players around. They're all on the field already. Is the game already on? It's almost over. Jeepers creepers, I gotta get on the field! Hooray! Moses will be on the field any second now, and then there'll be some drumming! I'm sorry, boy, but I can't do that. I have to play. Maybe some other time. Today, the Pharaoh's forbidden it. But then we'll lose, and the Pharaohs will win the trophy. Bummer. And then I'll be unemployed. It can happen. But I'm a star. I never actually learn anything that's useful. And what do you want me to do about it? Let me have a go. I'm sorry, boy, but I can't do that. I have to play. Maybe some other time. Today, the Pharaoh's forbidden it. But then we'll lose, and the Pharaohs will win the trophy. Bummer. And then I'll be unemployed. It can happen. But I'm a star. I never actually learn anything that's useful. And what do you want me to do about it? Let me have a go. I'm sorry, boy, but I can't do that. I have to play. Maybe some other time. Today, the Pharaoh's forbidden it. But then we'll lose, and the Pharaohs will win the trophy. Bummer. And then... Let Moses on the field, come on! But the Pharaoh personally beat it into me that I'm not allowed to do that. And he's father and protector to us all. Listen up, Super Brain. Can't you see? That isn't even the Pharaoh. And even if he were, sometimes you have to break the rules to make the rules. You have to use your brain and do what's right. And now the time is ripe. The time to rise is nigh. Are you just a puppet or your own man? Damn it. Do you know what? You're right. And even if they throw me kicking and screaming to the crocs, I'll get that Moses onto that playing field. Stand in awe as I do the unbelievable and send Moses in as a substitute. Ha! This is the end of the line for you, buddy! No! They're detaining Moses! All is lost! If our side doesn't have anything else hidden up their sleeves, then we can only hope for help from above. Unbelievable! Moses gets on the field! A miracle! Moses parts the defense! That's incredible! And the Nile Crocodiles win the match! Cairo Pharaohs have lost the final. And as the sponsor, I'm delighted to bestow the trophy upon the victors, Moses and the Nile Crocodiles. We did it! The heart of Osiris is safe! Ha! I won't let things get botched up that easily. But, Mr. Pharaoh... Pharaoh? What nonsense! I am Dinar, the henchman of Osiris, and I'm now going to have a little word with him. Oh no! He wants to give the heart back to Osiris. Give it back? No chance. I'll blackmail him with it. Whoever has the heart has the power. I have once again been fooling all of you. He wants to go to the Temple of Osiris. Follow him. No, I'm not going back to the underworld. I'll stay here and keep the heart. That way Osiris will be in servitude to me forever. <laughs> Help me, Tara. You're standing close enough to Dinar to grab the Ankh from him. Why do I always feel like I'm being used? Because Asil really only wants me, and you are just his tool. Who let the princess in? I figured out how to turn a door handle all by myself. I'm so clever. Dinar, don't be foolish. The Battle of the Gods is looming. Give me my heart back. You don't need my love. Give me my heart back before you break it. Osiris, the sooner you go, the easier it'll be for you.
Oh, crud! And now give me the Ankh. Sure, here you go. Wait a minute. This time it should be clear that I should not hand over the Ankh to him. After all, I am its guardian. I won't give you the Ankh, but I might give you your heart. You want a barter? With a god? Asil, you still owe me an answer. For whom does your heart beat? Osiris, would you please hang on a sec? I've got something really important to take care of. What? Listen up, Tara. That chick doesn't mean anything to me. What? My magnificent hero! Then say it to her face. Well... Princess, you mean nothing to me. <laughs> I've waited long enough. There's still 13 souls to weigh today. And I wanted to be home at 6 p.m. So you seriously want to suggest a trade? Okay. You get the heart, and I remain the guardian of the Ankh. Hmm. Then the doorway to a triumphal return to your world would remain sealed. But I would be reunited with my heart and therefore be prepared for the battle of the gods. Very well, so be it. Give me the heart and you'll be allowed to keep the Ankh for a while. Okay, but only if this while is a very, very long while. Shall we say for as long as you live? Is that long enough for you? Sounds like a good deal. So be it. Hey, what's going on? Suddenly I feel so... carefree. He's not going to get sentimental, is he, now that he's got his heart back? As long as he doesn't want to get down to some smooching, then it can't be a bad thing. Ozzy, old boy! Pharaoh, my old fellow. We still need to exchange a few serious words. But whether it pleases me or not, I still have to say, I'm happy to see you again. I never would have thought that things could get even worse. How lovely! And you two come with me. We can't disappoint the audience. Oh, what a charming couple they make. She's leaving with my sweetheart. Even you have to learn that we can't always get everything we desire. What? Did I just hear can't get everything? There's gotta be something wrong with my hearing. Just forget about it. And get the hell out of my temple. What a joy for the audience! Everything has a happy ending! And I'm more the wiser for the experiences that I've had. The same goes for me. And I have also learned something. Namely, that things are going haywire in my quarry, and I need to put more pressure on my slaves. If I want to finish the pyramids in this millennium. Say, I've heard that the Ankh bestows upon its bearer a mysterious... vitality? Tara, what are you trying to say? Oh, nothing. I just thought I'd ask. Uh-huh. And? And what? How does this vitality make itself noticeable? That's not easy to explain. In words. I think we've gone and chosen a bit of a schmuck to be the guardian of the Ankh. Why? I think he does his thing pretty well. <laughs> 